guys, welcome back. This is a very, very exciting day. So today, I have taken collection of my Transporter T6.1. Now this one has been awaited for for a long, long time. So I placed this order in March 2020. Um, I was told I would have it within three to four months. Now, um, things, things got delayed, things got pushed back, but now, a year later, I've got my dream van. Now this is a T6.1. Imodium Grey, 204 PS, it's a four motion DSG box and it's had everything thrown at it. So every option extra ticked, all the um, all the spec is done by me. So it's got the uh, matte black bars, it's got the matte black uh, roof bars and the surprise on the wheels that um, I've been telling you about. So um, thanks for um, liking, subscribing to the channel, but um, we, do, we do need the numbers to be up a bit. So please, please, please subscribe, like, uh, to the channel now i won't keep you much longer now i know you know you're all here for the van and not me so this journey through the van life is i've had lots and lots of different vans i've had a uh, copper bronze t6.1 i've had a um emodium gray t6 i've had a uh, pure gray t6.1 but this one is um is my van can't wait to show you guys have a look so here we are here we have it this is the t6.1 um that I've been uh, long, long awaited for. As you can see from outside, I've gone for the champagne wheels. I am super, super, super excited about these. These are better than I thought they would be. In the pictures, they were gold, but in this, you see that it's really, really, really subtle change of colour, and I absolutely love them. These are a brilliant, brilliant colour. Really, really happy with the wheel. Now, um, also, um, it's got the matte black sidebars. I love these sidebars, these, these are really good. So I did have the option to go for these. I could have gone chrome, which I thought um, it's, it doesn't suit the van. Um, I, should have, I, I could have gone um, um, black, like a shiny black, but um, I thought matte black suits it because um, this only comes, this roof bar only comes in matte black as well. So I think they go quite well together. Now, as you see from the outside, um, I've had the um, back windows tinted. Now they do make a massive difference. On my last fan, I thought they were tinted, but um, I was corrected in some of the comments that um, it comes like that. But these have been, um, it's called a limousine tint. So I think it's uh, 50 or 60% black, blackout. But I'm super, super excited. I just think it makes the van really, really stand out. Um, plus also let's go around to the front. So um, it's had the uh, LV1 kit put on it. So. Uh, the, the the bottom spoiler has been put on i think this cap at the top um just see up there i think that's been uh, uh wrapped in the same color as the van i just think the stance on this thing is absolutely incredible it is beautiful i am super super happy with this this is an absolute dream van for me I've had some comments uh, on the last videos that i'd like to know more about the the ride height and how comfy it is now when i had the t6 I was seriously, seriously, seriously questioning whether the ride is going to be good or not. Um, because this van is surprisingly so comfy. You do not notice any any of the bumps. It rides really, really well. It's smooth. It's really, really good. So really, really re recommend uh, getting the Laurie Springs put on this. Now, as you can see, it's a long wheel base. Um, so um it's yeah it's just got that, li that little bit uh, extra space at the back i think the short wheel base is stop about there but this long wheel base takes it out of there it's so i can get all the bikes in there now from the back as you can see it's a 2021 love it um so it's had the back um window uh, blacked out but it's also had the ply lining put inside so it's a bit more security um i've had this protection bar put on the back it's like a um, I wish it was carbon fibre, but <laughs> yeah, it's not carbon fibre, it's just a little strip that uh, um, protects the back, which I think I'll need that. So opening it up, uh, electric uh, tailgate, which is super, super happy about. And as you can see, I've got the bulkhead in here. Now, I am so happy with this bulkhead. This bulkhead um, has been, uh, is making me nervous for a couple of weeks because as you can see, um, it's slightly tapered back. Um, which allows me to get my bike in. It, my, my, my bike fits in here fine. And the, and the finishing side of it's really, really good. Now, um, I've had an additional alarm fitted up there um, purely because that uh, when that bulkhead is installed, um, the factory fitted alarm 
does not cover the back it's only the doors if the doors were to open that the alarm would go off but um, if anyone was to smash or even I've seen some videos where um, people are cutting the side out and entering the side the alarm would not go off so I've had this fitted this comes on with a key you press the lock the alarm locks um, and it, it sets the alarm which is great but you can see all the space in here this is an absolutely beautiful van and as you can see electric tailgate works really 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 well now um a question i had just open this again so this bulkhead i wondered why they had these four holes cut out here you see these four holes one two three four now this is this is because um Leighton have fitted these before and they've had some faults of when the door's been shutting the pressure in here has been too much so the the door's not been closing now they've had to drill four holes um in here so it releases the pressure so when the when the door shuts the the air goes through and it allows the door to shut um these lumps on the side you're probably wondering what these are these are for the uh, power sliding doors um either side uh, but as you can see they finish it in this alcantara this alcantara is an absolutely beautiful beautiful feel touch uh sound deadening little switch just down here you can see switch this on and these lights come on um yeah so beautiful love it love it to bits remember to turn that off because uh it could uh, easily be get forgot about now uh, you'll see that the um back window has been boarded out as well and also lined so um yeah it's a really really good finish i absolutely love it as we're going around so you look at these these seats so open the side door look at these seats uh first you say that the um, sliding doors work on the key and it also works from putting in there. So yeah, getting back to this. So these seats, these are an absolute work of art. I love these seats. So um, as you would have seen my last video, I've gone for the uh, blue blue stitch, which is finishes it off really, really well. Um, and I've also gone for the honeycomb um, effect. In the back, you don't get the latent emblem here, which I'll, see, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, the, look at these seats. You've got the two plus one um, with a rubber rubber mats um so yeah my kids are gonna find these an absolute luxury in here you've got the usb um chargers for all the for the devices they've got yeah this is an absolute dream so you'll see um the, the visibility is quite good uh looking out with the um with the tent you can still see out quite well um and you'll see the bulkhead i am super super excited of how this well this finishes see it hugs the seat behind and you've got this little vision panel in the back. Yeah, it's uh, it finishes really, really well. And the sound is, actually the sound is a lot better because um, on the previous vehicles, I've not had the bulkhead fitted and you still hear a bit of um, a bit of uh, road noise. Uh, but with this, this really does uh, block everything out. So I, I would really recommend the bulkhead being fitted. Um, and also like I said, it's not too much of a hassle to take it out if I needed the extra space now and again, so the back sheets can come out that can come out i think there's four bolts so um, two top two bottom i think that comes out um but it really does finish the van so i can keep this van the the, the sort of the cab um free from tools free from uh bikes anything sliding around so it just keeps everything um separated from the from the from the passengers to the to the, to the cargo what you've got in the back so um i'll, I'll take you around the front so this is the um, um, seats so you see the uh, hex seats and you'll see the latent emblem this is a lot better I think than the R logo and um, the R logo makes it look a bit like something it wants to be rather than something it is um, these seats are so so comfy um, the heated as well which I think is good and what we've got here we've got the new steering wheel which I was so excited to see so this steering wheel is, is is the new um, is the new range of steering wheels that they're bringing out now. The last one, um, I'll I'll pull a shot on now of the previous steering wheel, which you'll see. Um, yeah, so these this is the new steering wheel, um, which I think it makes it look so much better. Oh, it's such a dream in here. Now you see the bigger um, Discovery Media um, system that I've got. Uh, this is this is so much better. This is works so much better. I've had my Apple CarPlay on there working away. Um, just turn it down for not any copyright on any music. Um, it takes a while, but um, yeah. So um, 
th th this is this is so easy to use and um i've really done that um yeah so this is super super easy to use um i've put all my stuff on there um yeah everything just works really well just works off um bluetooth um and it worked yeah it's so, so efficient uh, it's so quick um you get in there it automatically knows where you are it, it, su it suggests routes for you so if i'm uh, when i was leaving um collecting the van it suggested i wanted to go home so put the suggested route in home i just click yes and away it went um i can also notify people what time i'm going to be there so it's really really easy to use um and here you got the dsg box which is, is standard really um park reverse neutral drive but you can also slide it slide it to the um you go down you can also slide it to the right hand side you can use sport bone you can uh, up and down it as you go um it's got the uh heated windscreen uh the heated seats which is uh, a godsend but i imagine that uh, in the cold weather my previous van had it and i missed it on my last van um sorry the the, the first got van i had had it and i missed it on the last van i had um, it's got this twin sliding doors, so you can press these buttons here and the side doors open, you press it again and it closes it, which is really, really good. So you can pop out, you can go to the shop, you can say, um, away you go, open, open the door, the kids jump out. Um, uh, yeah, so it's really easy, the close. Um, it's got the uh, power folding mirrors. Um, what else has it got? It's got uh, oh, the hill descent uh, just down here. And it's got traction off as well. Um, auto lights. Um, oh, this thing here as well. This is an override for the alarm that I was, that I was telling you about. So when you lock the vehicle, um, um, the, the alarm um, the alarm operates, the additional alarm I've had in the back. Um, but he said if, if, if it was ever to go off and you don't know how to turn it off, this is an override. So you just, on the key, which I'll get out for you now. So on the key, it's just got this, uh, this thing. I've never put it in. Um, yeah, it's just got a thing we can just uh, put it in uh, and it will sh shut the alarm off. Um, but as, as you see, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful van and I'm so, so happy to to have all the choices that I've done. Um, I'll just show you the vehicle uh, locking. So if I come out, what I mentioned last time is that um, when I didn't have the power door, so you, so you walk in off and you can, um, you can lock the vehicle. You can, uh, from the key, you press that, you can open you can close it um i'm not sure what you can do with the boot i think i'm holding the back it i don't know it won't close unless you gotta press the button on the boot um yeah it closes away you go so um the way it works where the alarm works is you press um a lock and then it'll beep and lets you know that it's there if you hold lock down the mirrors fold in which is cool and if you come round uh, the front, hopefully the lights come on. If it's if it's dark enough, the lights come on, um, and it waits for thirty seconds to the vehicle. Vehicle, and it waits thirty seconds when you lock it at night. So you lock it, um, unlock it. It bleeps twice to let you know the vehicle's unalarmed. Yeah, so it looks the stance on this. I've had so many people wave at me when driving by on the way back. It's been ah, oh, it's been an absolute event. Um, when I got to Leighton, um, you'll see um, on the front of the vehicle, that, uh, sorry, the front of the video, that uh, it was on a turntable when I got there. So yeah, they did really, really lay on a, um, a collection for me, which, uh, which apologies, I couldn't take you along, but I just wanted it to be myself and my wife. So, um, uh, what else? Uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, they've, they've said, um, actually, this is quite interesting uh, fact. So. Um, there's been a, been a huge, huge problem with VWs at the minute because uh, allocation for VWs have been um, quite select. So um, Leighton Van said to me that they ordered 150 vans uh, last year for delivery this year or delivery ASAP. Now, they've only been allocated 30. So they were saying that a person was um, waiting just as much long as I. He had a, a vehicle number, he had a, uh, a sachet number, he had a delivery date, he had a build date, he had the works. And uh, all of a sudden, there was no van. There was no build date. There was no build um, slot. The the van was um, so the van was cancelled. Now um, that would be absolutely horrific, and I would hate to be in that position. Um, so apologies 
and uh, my heart goes out to all the people that haven't got the vans uh, for this year. Um, just keep trying. I know there's um, other companies out there with, with vans, but I think they're quite scarce at the minute. Um, v VW are saying something, it's, it's to do with their, the ECU, the chip in the ECU. It's either, it's like a Samsung or something like that chip. And I think they're um, quite hard to come by. So that's delaying all the build dates on all the vans. Now, I don't know that for sure. I don't know for certain. It's just what people have been telling me. So um, yeah, I think, um, I think there's gonna be huge, huge demand for these vans um, in the next year or so, because uh, holidays are gonna be different, I think. So there's gonna be less uh, foreign travel and there's gonna be more um, sort of uh, family holidays in the UK. Um, so that's camping, it's lodges away. Um, yeah, so just let's just see what this uh, this goes. But I just thought I'd show you, um, this is my T6.1. Um, I absolutely love this thing and it is an absolute dream. So that's it, that's my T6.1. Um, it's been a long waited for, a year in the waiting. So I hope you like it just as much as I do. Uh, informative, I hope. Um, really, really new to YouTube. This isn't, uh, I've said in previous vehicles, this is a look at me video. This is the information that I wanted to get uh, years ago um, when I was looking for vans. Um, if you need me to cover anything, any questions, please drop um, uh, comments below. Uh, I get back to every single one of my, um, uh, the comments that I've had. Um, yeah, so please tell everyone um, about the information that I'm giving you. Uh, tell them to like, subscribe, um, come along and see the journey in this van. So I've got some trips coming up soon. Um, when I um, go away on a family holiday, which seems strange to see, um, so it seems strange to say um, with, with what's been happening recently, but we've got, uh, we've got a family holiday planned. It's a cycling holiday, so I'm gonna get all the bikes in the back. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you um, snippets of our, of, our, um, of our family holidays um, in the van. And this is a big, big, big plus to our family. This is gonna make us do so much more as a family. Um, so yeah, so, um, Come along, like, subscribe. Um, I hope you like it. See you later, guys.